I love Hawaii. I'm gonna move here. The best pineapple I've ever had in my life. It's pretty awesome. The Diamond Head Crater Height. We're Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in New York City, where we walked the famous Brooklyn Bridge, had a romantic bike ride through Central Park, and finished our day with beautiful sunset views before catching a Broadway show. This week, we're in the Aloha State. Welcome to Hawaii. Hawaii. Guys, we did it. All 50 states in a year. We cannot thank you guys enough for being on this journey with us. We can't believe we actually did it. It definitely hasn't hit us yet. Maybe that'll sink in at some point on this trip, but right now we're just excited to explore this beautiful state. This will be the first of four videos that we'll be filming while we're here, so make sure you stay tuned for those. Today we're exploring the beautiful island of Oahu, more specifically the Honolulu area. And we're starting things off with a very tropical breakfast. Let's go! But, you know. Check out this amazing lay that I got last night. I won a contest and I got it. It's pretty awesome. It's amazing. I didn't realize these things were this heavy. Like this so thing's got some weight to it. And I'm gonna wear it all day until it dies. <laughs> until it falls apart. <laughs> pretty much. Guys, I love acai bowls and I am so excited to dig in. So good. So I guess I live under a rock because I've never actually had an acai bowl before. Natalie loves them. I always go for a more meaty breakfast, you could say, but I'm loving this. You have two options for bases for your bowl, Brazilian base, and then they have their Hawaiian bowl, which is more of a Hawaiian style with tropical flavors in it. You also have the option to top your bowl, and I ended up getting their power toppings, which is banana, peanut butter, raw cacao nibs, and granola and honey, and it is delicious. And I got the premium toppings, which included strawberries, bananas, blueberries, granola, and honey. We decided we wanted to try both bases, so Natalie got the Brazilian and I got the Hawaiian base. I recommend getting the Hawaiian base because it is way more fruity. Yeah, more Hawaii feeling. Oh my gosh, literally one of the best breakfasts ever. I even beat Matt eating it, so that says something. So that was the perfect fuel for our next adventure, which is the Diamond Head Crater Hike. They have this overlook that we're gonna park at, and Matt is about to pay here. No idea how much that's gonna cost, but the view's really pretty. About to pay for parking. The main parking lot area is full. Lots full. So we had to drive back down a little ways, which makes our hike a little bit longer, but not too much. Aloha! <laughs> Just started the hike. It's about a 0.8 mile hike from the start of the hiking. We already put about probably a quarter mile in before that because we had to park a little ways off. But I didn't account for the fact that there's an elevation gain. So this 0.8 miles might feel like two miles. I don't know. He lied to me. He was like <laughs> 0.8 miles. And then we get here and I'm like, what's the elevation gain? He was like, mm, didn't, didn't look at that. I don't know. <laughs> and then we get here and you're standing at the, in the crater and then you're looking at the rim around you. It's like, I'm like, we're gonna die. Be a little bit of a walk. <laughs> Matt said that this was vacation. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely tricked me. The views will be spectacular, but 
I wasn't mentally prepared for this <laughs> for some reason. So yeah, gradual climb, not awful. But I am definitely, sweating. definitely hot. And I didn't bring a hair tie, so there's that. Look at that. How do you feel about that? Um. are worth the hike. And now we head down. Yes, I'm thinking the hike down is going to be easier. Oh, piece of cake. After you, my dear. Oh gosh, thanks. <laughs> We made it back down in one piece. <laughs> Thank God. Now I think Matt's gonna buy me a treat. Oh yeah, we did see that they have a truck out here selling some nice uh, pineapples. pineapples and frozen treats. They are melting like crazy. Super fast. Mm. But it is beautiful, I'm so excited. This pineapple. I'm not just saying this because we're in Hawaii, but the best pineapple I've ever had in my life. Oh chunk. my gosh. Mm. We were planning on going to the Dole Plantation, but it's about 45 minutes to an hour out. Mm -hmm. So we still might do it off camera, but this is a close second. Yep. So, mm. pro tip, if you're coming to hike Diamond Head, be sure to plan for some time after your hike to get a nice frozen treat. They're slicing these pineapples open right in front of you. Hers is filled with, it's a pineapple with filled with chunks and then Dole Whip on top of that. I'm not uh -oh. need to eat the top. I'm eating too fast. Oh, you got a brain freeze. <laughs> I gotta set this thing down. <gasps> I collapse. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Uh. You need to scoop some into mine. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> Almost had her, guys. <laughs> you know, I'll do anything for the team. <laughs> so mine was $10 because it came with the pineapple. Mine was $6, but I added the pineapple chunks. Makes it $7. Worth every penny. And every calorie. Absolutely add the fresh pineapple. So while we're eating, we're gonna talk about the hike. The hike was <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit more strenuous than we originally thought, but. Yeah, don't let the short distance fool you. The elevation definitely can get your heart pumping, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, definitely doable and worth it. It's also worth mentioning that it is $5 per person to do the hike and $10 to park your car. So it was 20, 20 bucks, bucks all in all for us. Wardrobe change. <laughs> Ta da! Let's go eat. So, since we just ate so much pineapple and Dole Whip, we decided to get some smaller plates, lighter food. I got a Caesar salad with a fresh fish that I don't remember what the fresh fish fresh. <laughs> But I don't remember what the fresh fish was called. Yeah, but it was something local and more importantly, fresh. I got the poke tacos, which are actually an appetizer. We weren't even planning on coming here to Dukes until like five of you on Instagram, just within the past 24 hours, said we had to come to Dukes if we were in Waikiki. So here we are. Mm. Good. So fresh, so good, so messy. <laughs> it's got a nice like teriyaki, really good. Oh, that fish is good. 
with the wonton fried cracker. Dukes, you're not disappointing. So a big thing that they're known for here is their cocktails, especially their Mai Tais. But after that hike, we're a little dehydrated and that was the last thing we needed was a cocktail. We need some water. So we're thinking we might come back here around sunset and see if we can get the Mai Tai then. We'll see. And in normal mat nap fashion, we are rushing to our next adventure. <laughs> but lunch was delicious. The ingredients were so fresh. The views were awesome. So you have to check out Dukes if you're ever in Waikiki. Now we're headed to Pearl Harbor for our reservation. Hopefully we make it in time. We'll see. We made it in time. Just barely, as you can tell, I'm sweating my butt off from running. Yeah, but, but we, we are it. doing the narrated tour, which we're really excited about. They give you like little earbuds. Mm -hmm. And I got our little makes it so much better. Yep, it really does. It was absolutely worth it. It gives you just such a deeper understanding of what happened here mm -hmm. on that day. Pretty much yeah. cried all day. It's an emotional experience for sure. Thank you to our military. Yes, thank you. If you've never done Pearl Harbor, we totally recommend it. It was really, really well done. Yeah, and we're here just six days before the 80th anniversary of when it happened, which made it all the more special, really. Now we're gonna go try and see if we can catch sunset somewhere. With a little beach time in there as well. Side note, we are stressing because the sun is about to set and we are in Honolulu traffic. Also, my lay is wilting so bad. I'm so upset. <laughs> it's beautiful though. I've gotten compliments from the locals. That's that's how yeah. pretty my lay is. I mean, the craftsmanship is just beyond spectacular. And I will wear it until it's all brown. Probably gonna be in a couple hours. Stomp <laughs> Anyways, so let's pray that we make sunset somewhere <laughs> and that there's parking. We made it! <laughs> just barely. Check out these views. The question is, do we want to get our hair wet? We were really hot earlier and I would have said yes, but oh, now Earlier not. there was no question in my mind if I was diving in. Not so much now. Now I'm burr. Yeah. So we had every intention of going back to Waikiki for sunset, but we stayed a little bit too long at Pearl Harbor, which is no problem at all. We loved it, enjoyed it. So we called an audible and came here. I can't remember the name yeah. of the park, but it's one of the top sunset places here in Honolulu, and it's absolutely beautiful. We did go to Waikiki for sunset last night, so we'll insert some of that footage. Yeah. touristy 
which was totally yeah. fine. It was really cool. This is more of a chill yes. local vibe. So if yeah. that's your thing, come here. So we're gonna enjoy this sunset for a little bit and then we're probably gonna grab a bite to eat. Yep, yeah, cause I'm getting hungry. I mean, even with the clouds, this is spectacular. <laughs> so we decided to stop by our hotel and freshen up a little bit after getting all sandy at the beach. But now we are finally headed to dinner. Okay, here we come. <laughs> Last night we were walking by here and this stage right here, they have free entertainment and that is where I got my beautiful lay. Yes, so if you're here, come check it out. What's it called, Royal Hawaiian Center? Mm -hmm. Check it out, there might be free shows going on. You could probably look up online and see their schedule, but definitely worth it. We're gonna insert some clips now. Check out what we got, <laughs> postcards for our patrons. And we seriously cannot thank you guys enough. Every single name below, you're amazing. Without you, we would never have been able to reach our goal of all 50 states in a year. But more than that, we wouldn't be able to continue doing this beyond that goal. So thank you so much. So I got their regular size poke bowl with two servings of ahi and one serving of the garlic shrimp. Uh, we did cheat and have this off camera last night, but it was so good that we had to come back. It's the number one rated poke place here in Waikiki, so we couldn't go wrong. Mm, doesn't disappoint ever. Also forgot to mention that we got their shrimp roll and a veggie roll because they were half off because it's almost closing time. <laughs> Can you reach me? Mm. Right. Sweet chili sauce is delicious. I'm a little more authentic than Matt when it comes to chopsticks. I love them. The spicy mayo and the house dressing together, so good. I have to give Matt credit because he did that last night and I tried it and it was way better than mine. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Mm. So we got an update on the spicy mayo situation for Natalie. It's so hot. My mouth's on fire. I'm crying. Don't do it. It tastes good, but I can't. I'm literally crying. I had to get water. Maybe just like a little mayo. Just tell them a little bit of spicy mayo, but. And I added more to it. You did? Yeah, I had some of that. I can't. After a spicy and delicious meal, <laughs> we are stuffed. Natalie's tongue is still on fire. Yum. <laughs> but after a long day of exploring, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Please stay tuned for our next video where we explore the North Shore. We'll see you then. That's so close. <laughs> Ready? Side note, yeah. it's probably gonna be dark because sunset is like at 5.30. It is early sunsets. Um, let's go shopping at some of these stores. Uh, Gucci, closed. Chanel, um, they look open. COVID, they're closed. No, the doors are open. Wow. I see people inside shopping, yeah. let's go. That's... See, no. he didn't like me going. <laughs> My mouth's still on fire. I love Hawaii, I'm gonna move here. You coming too? If you're coming, I'm going. <laughs> if you're a bird, I'm a bird. What movie is that from? The Lion King. The Notebook. He's never watched it. Close. I was very close. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, that is something I will never understand. That people would come to Hawaii and go to Red Lobster. Doesn't make any sense. Nice and chilly. <laughs> I didn't get it on camera. Are you serious? No, I'm just kidding. You look so handsome in that Hawaiian shirt. I'm getting mm -hmm. dole whip on my legs. Mm -hmm. It's coming through the table. Gotta Driven go. Through. <laughs>